items, comments, and stories you're about to hear may not be suitable for some. Listener discretion advised. All right now, boys and girls, we want to introduce... Please allow me to adjust my pants. Woo, woo, woo. Listen to me. Run. Run as fast as you can. I'm gonna give you what you need. Get ready for BAM Radio. Let me do one more time. Is Radio BAM? Fucking idiot. What the hell am I talking about? It's Radio BAM. And now, and now here's BAM. Here's BAM. Oh, 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 Radio Bam Series 28 Cleveland. Uh-huh. Cleveland, put on a headset. I owe you a new pair of uh, sunglasses. Yes, we Whipping boy. And on. I also owe you a fedora. <laughs> now, Novak goes with a fedora. I owe Novak a pair of pants. Save it for the radio. We're on the radio, you idiot. Yeah, um, we're on the radio, you dummy. What? Why would you put on a headset and think that you're not on the radio? <laughs> what, are we just doing this to have fun together? <laughs> We're doing a radio show, last time I checked. <laughs> Cleveland, what happened? When? When, Scran. You, when you lost your fedora. Uh, I was sitting there, and I was being the whipping boy, as fucking Mohawk calls it, and I got my fedora thrown out the window, and then you threw my fucking sunglasses out the window. Then I threw Novak's the pants out the window. I got that fedora from a friend of mine who I met in rehab. It was four years, rehab four years ago. It meant a lot to me. Four, it did mean a lot to me. Four years ago. And I now got it's it. sitting in Allentown on the side of the highway. Somewhere, yeah. Dude, Ten miles I almost had the. I almost asked the guy who was driving, what's, what's his name? I don't remember. Oh, his name Fetz, is Fetzer. Yeah, Fetzer. Fetzer. He. I was gonna ask him to pull over and get it. I wanted so bad. But then, <laughs> I knew, then I knew I'd get my ass kicked more for asking. Cleveland, you know how hard it is to stop an RV. You wouldn't have I gotten, know. Go you wouldn't have out. gotten your ass kicked. You would have got your ass left on the exactly. highway. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I just dealt with it, and you know, I'm pissed off. Though. I love that. Well, on that 10 mile stretch of highway, there is gonna be one slick looking bum. He's gonna find Dude, that bum. 80 is pair gonna be of so jeans, well dressed. 120 dollar pair of glasses and a 30 dollar fedora. <laughs> Dude, Bam he truck, but he's gonna have to walk. Three miles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a bum. He walks all day. Three no, miles is like nothing to him. Bam tried to throw your jeans out four times and they kept getting hooked on the windows. So then you got you fed up and you out. threw them out. I just threw them out. Yeah, fuck it. Then you, you were caught. naked all day, all the whole ride home. He was you blacked out once he again. He wasn't naked. His dick was wrapped in electrical tape. That's true. I was, I was looking for a lighter the whole day, and then I, I finally ta- I finally pulled the tape off my dick and found the lighter taped to my dick. <laughs> it, was a, it was a dick splint. <laughs> you had a dick splint, <laughs> which is hard to do with your dick. <laughs> Believe you me, I know. I've seen you, your dick. <laughs> I think, and, and I think the, the Bic lighter was a little overkill. <laughs> so tell, tell, them, tell them how you got your black eye, fat boy. Okay, so the black eye happened. Uh, we were at, we were at the Coliseum in Scranton, and um, stop and, sucking Scranton's dick. Well, that's where we were, <laughs> and you were fucking burning me with a lighter. So you ran out, and I ran after you in the RV, and we started pushing each other and stuff, wrestling around. Finally, I was you got in my face, and I was like, just fucking punch me, pussy, and you did it. I didn't think you were. I didn't think you were gonna do it, but I should have known you would. Why would you then G it? saw that Novak punched Cleveland. Now G thinks that he needs to well, stick up for Cleveland. Yeah. Well, no, G's got to stick up. G's now, a good guy. Lines. Now G and Novak are fighting, and Novak a good elbows guy. Tammy in the head, falls on the ground, and then steps on her head three times, knocks her out silly, to the point where I had to take her to the fucking hospital. Not to mention, I just got eight thousand dollars in my pocket, and and I have short ass pockets, so like it totally hangs out. <laughs> So, like, I have, like, four grand over here in 20s hanging out, falling out. And then the other pocket, four grand hanging out, falling out. And then I have, like, a blazer on hanging out, falling out. Well, that's a great sob, that's a great <laughs> that sob story, so but I always so I'm in the ho- lady cop. I'm in the hospital. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's right. I'm in the hospital waiting for Tammy to get out. Dude, I saw the sun come up. I got no sleep whatsoever. Like, just sitting there waiting for Tammy to get out to find out. But, uh, like, there's all this money hanging out. Yeah, we called, out. we called the front desk dude and said, hey, dude, you seem nice. Can you get us beers? He's like, well, I can't sell them to you, but I can give you a yeah. bunch. And he gave me a hot pocket. Did he pocket. really give you guys beers? Yeah, and a hot, and a hot pocket. pocket. No shit. Yep. Yeah. Well, hot well, pockets well, are pretty good when you're drunk. That oh, front desk hot. dude was nice. I, I stole a few that Burger night, King remember? tiny hands. <laughs> You also stole, yeah, you did. Isn't that Wait, you, you shit stole a shitload of shit. From, I know from the when well, you know when you walked into the hotel, they had that little right there where I bought the bottle of wine. You oh, stole yeah. sun chips, and I then you stole. You stole like gum. eight things and didn't eat any of them. And I then, know. And then I woke up. Why the, steal it if you're not going to eat it? I wake up in the middle of the night. And I'm, I just got to I'm, I'm sleeping with a Canadian, eh? 
And fucking okay. you do, first off. <laughs> my girlfriend's sleeping in the other bed by herself. She wakes oh, up to come over. Because they speak French and they barely know how to speak English. And here they are staying at my house, but they're in the RV. And then Novak and Apple go in to try to bang each other out yeah. in the room. And they come in because there's nowhere else to stay. And then they lay down next to them. And Apple goes... Uh, last time I checked, I'm with Novak, and this is our room, and you have to, like, leave. And they go, oh, we don't speak English. And then they just fell asleep, <laughs> pretty much. They just fell asleep in their room. You couldn't even... I get no respect. Sprechen, so then I wake up... and see fuck off. So I, why'd you sleep with the guy, then? I don't, I don't know, but I woke up in the middle of the night, and I, I started going over to Apple's bed... And she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, and they had a big flat screen. I'm like, hiding. Come hide with me. I tried to hide behind the flat screen TV. Full mincing. You fell I'm asleep mincing. in my bed first. Did I? Yeah, I'd, I'd get you out of there. Yep. I don't even remember being in your room. Mm -hmm. How long was I there for? Chad remembers. Maybe yeah. you have a problem not, if not you don't remember long. being in Chad's room. I mean, you said, so you know Novak just found out that he's going to jail for 11 months, so therefore... You are? Yeah, he is. For what? So, I'll tell you why. The prescription thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh. So he wrote a fake prescription from a doctor trying to get pills, and he got caught. Now he's going to jail, so in order to deal with that, he just takes loads of Xanax to the point where he doesn't remember anything. And he's not even any fun to be around because he's just like, I don't want to watch you sleep. Hey, Novak, you want to hang out? Yeah, come on over so I can watch you sleep. I needed a translator. <laughs> talking I go, uh, it's I go. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Monday's my court date. I go Monday. They, that's not my day of reckoning. Then they're going to give me, I probably get, have two months after that, and then I get sentenced, and they're trying to give me, how long is it, Cleveland? Hey, fuck fat boy, put a headset on. Strap a keg to your face. <laughs> how long are they trying to give me, Cleveland? I think um, 11 to 23 months. 11 to 23 months they're trying to get me. Tell Turtles to strap a keg to his face. He's so fat he can't even see his dick when he pisses, him. man. It's on turtle time. <laughs> When was the last time you saw your dick when you were taking a piss? Um, <laughs> yesterday, dickhead. So that means you didn't see it today? Right. Yeah, I didn't, well, I don't remember pissing today. Fat fuck. <laughs> is your dick bigger than Novak's? It's definitely bigger than Definitely. Novak. Everybody's is. Dick off. Come here, Cleveland. <laughs> Except, Except for Shit Shit Gooses oh, yeah, is true. Shit Goose is a pile of shit last night. Dude, Shit Goose what was happened? such I a piece of shit. missed him last night. Dude, he went and drank Delco. Beers. Okay, he's getting ready to marry Kim, and he's sitting there like wasted. Uh, and just he's like, sleeping in the bed. I want to see your pussy. I, I oh yeah, so no, fucking yeah. hot. I want to see it. And she's like, uh, "Shiggers, I could totally hear everything." Like, I want to see your pussy. How about when we when we barge? It? <laughs> <laughs> like, like he gets that drunk to where he does that. How about we barge his hotel room, and Kim's in one bed, and G's in another bed. Yeah, we can't just even door sleep in, in the same bed. Chad. Oh yeah, yeah. They're that, getting ready I to get married, that. but G's sleeping in one bed and then Kim sleeping in the other. What bed did you sleep in? If, you sleep in? <laughs> if I was getting ready to get married, I'd be cuddled up away. next to her like being like, oh yeah, time. babe, I love you. Like, cuddled all up. Yeah. Chad, Chad slept on a rollaway I bed. slept on a rollaway and they they both slept in the two double beds separately. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't get it either. Maybe he's a bed weather. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but that was ridiculous, man. I don't know. Like, they're getting ready to get married, yet they're sleeping in two different beds before, like, what? Well, <laughs> that, he fucking snores so bad. He, like, was snoring. He goes, And he goes, like, yeah, he gets this, like, maximum climax of fucking snoring. And then he goes, <laughs> <laughs> And then back down, and then, <laughs> Oh, I, I, if I were Kim, I'd shoot myself. God, well, I cannot sleep with that every night. Yeah. Well, obviously she doesn't. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. Point proven. We found that out in Scram. But yeah. who wants to sign up for that? She. Well. Oh yeah, I want to. Yeah, let me sign paperwork to sleep not in your same bed because you're too loud at snoring. I, I wonder. If, at I, I wonder if she slept with uh, Marine War Dust in his bed. Marine well. War Dust. <laughs> <laughs> what? Marine Wardo. So back to your jail story, Novak. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's got to be fucking terrible stress, dude. I'm, I'm, What's the longest I'm you've ever spent mind. in jail? 90 days. 90 days. I'm losing my mind. At the moment. As we speak, I am Well, I think the good, I, the good idea to do would be to take, like, more Xanax. Yeah. Like, like that, that totally that's helps gonna and solves help. the problem. Yeah. Do they give you Xanax? Know. 
in Dude, jail? he shows up to his lawyer's office all hopped up on Xanax twice, twice to the point where the lawyer's like, I don't even want to deal with his ass. No, that's not how it went. Yeah, right. I talked to him. The lawyer can't defend me because he doesn't do Delaware County. He has his other lawyer. It's at- called, you're on Xanax and I don't want to deal with you. There's no telling him, but... No. Well, you're you're trying to justify that? He's a lawyer. He could do whatever. He don't want to deal with your pussy. Bill Butler yet. can't defend me up here. It's different jurisdictions. Yeah, because he's in a different defend. state. He's in the same state, and he doesn't want to simply deal with you because your condition Delaware is hell. Delaware County is not Westchester. You're hell. That's a different. Dude, you were over here yesterday that you probably don't even remember. Yeah, I remember. Okay, what were you doing then? Sitting outside, everyone was falling sitting asleep, outside. tumbling down the you fucking hill. I pulled up two and hours. Were naked in the driveway. We, that's, yeah. yeah, you have to hear how that happened. We set that up as a joke, <laughs> just to fuck with you guys. But then he really it did pass out, a joke <laughs> and he was laying there for two hours. <laughs> Until the, bu- until the bugs are crawling up your ass, right? I just can't understand, like, the, th- like, Novak's brain, this is how it works. Okay, I've done Xanax a uh, shitload of times, and I've been caught 40 times, and now I'm going to try to fool everybody once again, and I'm going to take them and tell everybody that I didn't, and this will be the 41th time that I'm going to get caught. Well, I'm drinking water right now. I, I, sober. I only took three. Like, like, he thinks that he can fool you. Big, I'm not, I know nothing. It's, it's like, but we totally know that you are. Now I swear on my dog's life that I'm not, I don't know nothing. I have about, I'll probably be here for about like, maybe but, eight but, more shows. And but beforehand, that, but there, beforehand, he takes it, like before he takes it, he thinks about it. Can I fool everybody? Well, I haven't the last 40 times, but I'm going to do it anyway and try again. Yeah, but yeah. in like three bars, like actually like 12. Dude, a bar is four. And he took two bars. No, a bar is two. No, a bar is four. It's no, two bar. footballs. A bar it's is two, two milligrams. Yeah, a bar is two footballs. Either way, it's a lot. So yeah, so I'll probably have about thirteen to fifteen more radio shows, and then I'll be going away for a little while. Well, that's what are you, you get. positive you're going away? No, you're not positive, but it's, it's. I mean, well, it's nothing. I mean, I can't. The judge might get fucked really good the night before, but that's what they're. Well, even when you're in, what's the chances you'll get released early? The, the earliest I'll get out is nine months. For right. good behavior? Right. Just Tell what jail? Uh, I don't know what jail. Delaware County. Dude, you decide. know what sucks, though? Like, honestly, if you're a judge, like, is is what it all depends on is, like, if you got banged yeah. out the night before and you have a good day or, yeah, like, you yeah. have a shitty day and, like, totally. it all depends on the judge's mood. Yeah. Like, if, if his you, mood is, like, this fucker's going away or, like, you know what, I'm in a good mood. Yeah. Like, I'm going to let you off. Like, yeah. it all depends on what they're feeling that day. That's, uh, yeah, if you had a good pasta dinner the night before, yeah. you're yeah. in a good mood. So you had a great breakfast. If you, you had broke a trial? down the night before and had a flat tire, then he'd, he'd give you a hard day. Yeah. You had a trial? No, I'm not taking a trial because... Then the, the, the uh, if I pick a jury trial, they could they could give me worse than what the judge is trying to give me. Really? Right, yeah. Right. So I have to pay five thousand dollars for this lawyer. Are you definitely going to jail? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, Cleveland would be there to bail you out. There is no bail. There's no bail. I might be there to pick them up, <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll visit them. But there's no bail. Dude, it sucks. Novak no could be in Washington, D.C., and he could be like, Yo, Cleveland, get me now and hurry the fuck up. And then he'll come and get you. He's my buddy. <laughs> You're his whipping boy. <laughs> no, we're friends. Dude, I would do it for Novak him. Would he would, he would. He would. He'd do the same thing I for me. I would do it for him. Are you? Yeah, right. You don't even have a car. If I had He'd do it every car, could. If you had. Or I'd call someone with a car and pay them to do it. Okay. I don't believe you. Okay. I'm broken down the side of the road. Come and get me. What are you going to do? Yo, Cleveland. Come get me. Yo, Cleveland. Come and pick me up. (laughs) You fucking Bam Margera. 80 billion people would line up to go pick your dirty ass up. (laughs) Now I'm dirty. You're dirty. (laughs) (laughs) That was a great retort. (laughs) If anybody's dirty, it's you. Last time I checked, your girlfriend has Mercer. It's Christina Aguilera. (laughs) That's what I heard. It's rumors. The rumors. But how do you not have it if she has it? It's not sexually transmitted. You can get it from anywhere. I mean, you can get it from it's just sitting yeah. on something. Well, she went to York yesterday where she's, that's her hometown, and she went to see the doctor, and she's so mad at Novak right now. No, she's not. She was totally... I talked to her. I talked to her, too. You want to read the text you just missed me? She yeah. I love you. I miss you so much. Can't read wait it. to be home. All right, hold on. <laughs> if that's true, it's a big change from last night. That's all I'm <laughs> I know. He's lying. I'm not lying. Tell that piece of shit. Hey. Tam Tam. 
sit here. A valiant effort. Do we have a microphone? A valium effort. <laughs> a valium effort. <laughs> that one's fucked up. It's it is. Up. I can work on this one, but uh, yeah, go on. <laughs> that one's fucked up too. It's time to play Lacrimus okay. from Austria. New song. Then should we quote from the book? Or Track right two, now? Chad. Lacrimus Buffalo. Doing it right style. <laughs> yeah, by yeah. David McGrogan. Find out the best quote, man. Find the best quote, dude. Man. The first line's the best. The first, dude. The beginning of the book, All right. it basically says, like, Say he's it, like a legend Read in his own mind. I was like, shit, then I did something, then I was the man. I'm the CEO about? of a $25 million empire, including Rhino Living, Training, Consulting, Group Killed Airs, Doc McGrogan's Oyster House, Harvest, and Max McCalley Cantina. I'm only 35 years old, and I'm so successful. Blah, blah, blah. It's the owner of a local bar. He wrote a book on how to be as successful as him. With only, and I like with him, but like four foot three. This book makes him seem like he's a legend in his own mind. It's he a is a twenty-page book. Way. I mean, every, every time I go to one of his bars, I steal three books. <laughs> yeah, Dude, I stole one, then he autographed it. Uh, I've been, I, I, I will pay a hundred dollars to find him to get him to autograph one of them for me. I can't find him. Anyway. <laughs> he autographed, he autographed one for you <laughs> to the to the Mohawk Rhino. Oh my! Oh, my uh, you're part. You're in his little gate that's club. How, that's no, how he, he autographed this one to Bam too. <laughs> no, nah, did he? Yeah. Hey, Bam, you got an autograph one too? I don't know if I did. Nah, you no, wrote you that. stole you that one last night. Oh, I, I, yeah, it was me. I wrote that. Yeah, he faked it. I have like four in my car because he keeps stealing them. <laughs> All right. Maybe if you read the book, you do something Lacrimus better than Profunde. being Novak's yeah. yeah. boy. Yeah, yeah. New right. album. You're on Radio Bam 28. Fuck shit. Fuck off, Novak. <laughs> it's like I give a fuck. Holy Lord, I got a photo. Strap yourselves in and lace up those shoes because you're listening to Radio Bam. Turn it up, faction. That was Lacrimus. From Austria, new album. Back was profunde. Shut up, new bag. So now, I went to. This was yesterday. I went to Giordano's to meet Missy, and I haven't seen her since Christmas. So that's like six months. Then we start talking, and then she gets in my car so I can play her new hymn song because yeah. And then she sees Tammy's high heel in there, and yeah. then she decides to throw it up in the tree. So me and Mohawk showed up to Giordano's today to climb up the tree to try to look for it. I made a valiant effort. Funny. And then I start interviewing people from the bar, and I'm like, girls and guys, I'm like, if you saw a $900 pair of high heels, but there's only one heel, so like, if you knew that they were like $900, would you... Steal well, one shoe? What well, are you going to do with one shoe? The it's chick, worthless. The chick at the bar said that the Mexicans clean it every morning, so there's some Mexican hottie walking around with one high heel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what are you going to do? Walk around with one nice-ass shoe? Like, I'm curious. <laughs> like, Chad, if you saw a nice-ass high heel on the side of the road, would you pick it up? Me? Or what am I going to do with a high heel? That's what I'm saying. Why pick it up? Really? Why would anyone yeah. want to pick it up? There's one shoe there. I wouldn't be able it's to tell the one. difference between a $10 high yeah. heel or a $900 high heel. I don't yeah, think but anybody... if, you're, if you're a girl and you see girls V know. St. Laurent, well, then you First off, why do they cost $900? Like, we were Laurent? talking about That's that before. What I'm high Dude, tech basketball not... shoes, 150 bucks, and High tech basketball shoes fucking... cost 100 bucks, they're And then a pair of plasticky, shitty ass high heel shoes cost 900 No, they're like leather. Girls do shit. Well, like no, that. it's because it's got some dead Italian dude. Dude, name you know on. how much? Yeah. Okay, let's look at this shoe. It it has like I pay sixty bucks for nine that. ounces of leather on it, and a three year old bedazzled it. <laughs> <laughs> so like, how? Where's the nine hundred dollar part come in? From the dead Italian I don't know. dude's Did you name? buy it? I'm yes. Fucking, yeah, he bought them. That's the other thing. That's why I'm a so, medium man. And even if she, I asked her, she asked, she should buy me another fucking pair, but it'd be yeah. But money if she I buys them, it's gonna be me buying them. I'm so pissed off about my <laughs> shoes. Like, oh, Miss is gonna buy you a pair. Well, that means that it's me buying you a pair. <laughs> so why don't I just buy you a pair? Why? Why wouldn't you just? You didn't see the shoes sitting Cause there. Because I saw no. Back? I saw her aggro ness, and and I just let it be. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like, what am I going to do when she's like... You should have made her go fucking get them. Are you kidding me? It was out of... I'm sure it was crazy. It was out of my jurisdiction at that point. <laughs> Wait, so you were climbing up a tree today looking for them? No, yes. we were more looking under a tree skirt. I, I was looking under it, and then I started to <laughs> climb it, and I was like, this is worthless. Well, at least she gave a good effort. 
But that Ken at Hillbilly thought that he had. <laughs> she threw another one out at the dentist office. We forgot to stop there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Then there's, then there's a coach shoe in the pool and my leather shorts. And there's a coach shoe. Who else knows? And another pair of $200 high heels that were in the pool. And then then she thought that she stole your bracelet, but it was mine from uh, Anthropology. She's like, I. There was a plastic purse. I have in the a pool, bracelet. I was like, that's oh, my bracelet. That's a Victoria. Oh, yeah. There's a plas- yeah, that's Victoria's Secret, though. That, that's plastic. That doesn't matter. It's plastic. It won't get harmed. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> That's the, not even... What the fuck happened? Looks like you're walking around shoeless. I, dude, they're my With the course of shoes. Scranton and 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 last night, like, what the fuck happened? Novak doesn't remember. I, I raced a girl in a wheelchair, and that crippled bitch hip checked me and he took stepped, me out. Not only once he stepped on Tammy's head, he stepped on it you three times. It. I got pushed into it. But you didn't even know. I saw it. I yeah, you were just like whacked out. You were like stepping on her like like one, two, three. <laughs> fuck you, G. You fucking fat motherfucker. And you keep stepping on her head and you don't even I know that you're blacked doing it. out. She winds up at the hospital. Black, I had, blacked I out. I had to stick my finger out. in Tammy's throat to make sure she wasn't choking on her own tongue. But then I this almost fucked bruise? a lady cop. Just for the sake I of see time. your ass. I don't see the bruise. Well, now I, I see faded. the bruise. Show Who's the, that from? Show the group. That's from... Show the group. <laughs> oh show the group. Well, it's fading now. If you didn't bring up enough for everyone, then don't bring <laughs> Who it Who did all. it? They're t- really teeny panties. Like Who did it? Novak. You're an asshole. He didn't mean to. But it, it was only... Well, he means well. Well, he it was only because well. G was sticking up for that. his fellow Ryan. That's a good person. He's a good person he's deep a good down. Boy. Read part of that Rhino Living book. Scrape off all the Xanax. He's a good person. He's a doll baby. <laughs> he's always good to me. But he has too much Xanax in the system. It's too hard to scrape off. I'm not off. even on Xanax. That is the biggest horse shit I've ever heard today. Is there anything good worth reading there, Chad? I'll check it out. <laughs> he's like, change the subject now. Doing it Rhino style. Just make sure... The, the key to doing it right on your style is make sure when you get a picture taken that you show your watch. Recently, <laughs> I was. Plus, he has these big ass the boots, like some. Like, Danny Bonaducci boots. He has Danny Bonaducci boots because he has Napoleon's. He disorder. has midget syndrome. <laughs> oh, God. I was just like, oh, there's. No, but I can't boss on like that because I like him. I like him too. It's his method to rapid goal achievement. It's just the whole book is ridiculous. Chapter yeah. two. He get, get your self image on board. <laughs> Recently, I watched Walk the Line <laughs> again. <laughs> the Johnny Cash story. Great movie. Oh. As you travel through his life story, you can see that a tragic event in his youth. Look, he fucking learns about life through fucking fictional tales replayed by. I'd rather say Nicholas Cage's Wa- dick. Joaquin Phoenix taught him his life lessons. Yeah. No, he's good. Now they're gonna teach me. You had, he had to get me in the bar. He had to get me served. You called him on right in front of that waitress. You got served. Remember that waitress wouldn't serve me. I was like, I, she asked me for my ID. Did, I said, now, really? Now, I said, I'm almost forty. I go, I come here with fame so all the time. And but I, you got served. So did you break dance? <laughs> No, but we called him right in front of her, and her face, like, dropped. She was, he was like, here, it's Dave McGrogan. You have to give her a beer. She Me like, and Glowhawk had a few drinks today, and the only brilliant thing that we could come up with, which is true, <laughs> is Elvis shook his pelvis, and now he's the king of rock and roll. He didn't write any of his Because he didn't write any songs. of his songs. Who wrote his songs? So, yeah, who wrote his songs? Everybody. He what? never wrote, he wrote his first song, which is uh, Mama... Well, Phil would know that, but yeah. something like that. Oh, but Phil loves Elvis. So he wrote one yeah. song, and it became a massive hit. But and Elvis then Elvis, Elvis, everybody writes Elvis's song, so therefore Elvis shook, shook his pelvis, and now he's the king of rock and roll. I didn't know that. Everybody <laughs> writes all pop stars' songs. I'm like shaking. I know. But it's... like the, the the brilliant part is writing the song. If you have a great voice, then you're always going to win. Do you think Chad Kroger writes rock star? Oh, God, dude. We sat down and watched that video. <laughs> Chad just Jesus gave the dirtiest fuck. look. Yes, he did. That was a look of death. <laughs> dude, I don't blame you. I want you. a big house to <laughs> drive around in my 15 cars and a hang out in, <laughs> coolest in the coolest balls. Dude, it's the worst song ever, man. Then we, then we watched Hinder, and that guy was just constipated the whole video. And he's going like this with his gay-ass hand. <laughs> Plus, he had a fucked up hand or deformed But the hand. best part is, in the video, no, he's trying to look all sexy, uh, but like... In, in the video, the lyric is, 
my girl's in the next room, and I wish it was you. But in the video, she's in the back of the bed. She's not in the other room. She's right there listening to every word he's saying to you. My girl's in the next room. All in all, I wish it was you. It's like she can hear you, you idiot. <laughs> like, she's right there. She's two feet away. <laughs> his house is probably big enough where it's not two feet away. But he's going like this with his hand. Like, my girl's in the next room. But all in all, like, like he's trying to look sexy, but he just looks like a retard. <laughs> Jose needs a helmet 24-7 You need a helmet <laughs> Another good retort Yeah <laughs> I'm an author That retortus Novak is not an author Who is, Joe Franz? No Where is Franz? I actually saw him Oh my god, he is crazy What? Why do you think he's crazy? Well, we go there, he's like, yo like, do you want to have a beer, man? And, like, there's nothing in his refrigerator, but there's 20 cases of beer. Well, not 20 cases of beer, but, like, 20 beers in his freezer. And he mixes in most, the freezer, most though. and golden. He, he goes, I have a rotating system. I go, how don't they freeze? There's most and golden in our light. He's like, Didn't he have 40 ounces? He's like, yeah. And his hair's in his face. He's like, I mix them. He's like, it's all good. Like, and he, and he drinks a beer in five minutes. We were there for two hours. He had, like, 15 beers. Like, I was like, what the Was he drunk or? Big time dickhead. Who oh, wouldn't yeah. be after 15 beers? He was beers. coming off of last night. Just. He was ridiculous. Like, Margera wouldn't. And this, these two are boozing it up, and I'm drinking water, and I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. And he, and he talks like, and they're talking over each other, and his hair's all on his face, and he's like, yeah, you know. <laughs> like, and, how about, and then he's showing us these crazy pictures of <laughs> these girls and him. He likes to flash his dick around. Oh, my God. How about the video that was shown all over the girl's face? Huh? <laughs> what? Remember yeah. it? God. Dude, he just Tell us. he shows this video of, of his dick on this girl's face, like, and he's just all over the face. rubbing it all over the face for like and that's five what you minutes. See. He's like, Dude. oh yeah, oh yeah. That's all you see in here. Rubbing it on her face, and like she's <laughs> just no sitting there taking right it. No back face. So like they're not like fucking or anything. They're just no, he's just yeah, totally just rubbing he's his like, dick like, on oh, her face, yeah. and she's just like, is oh she, yeah. Is she licking his dick or no? No, she's not even licking it. He's just, it's on her eye and her forehead. It's just like rubbing it back and forth, and like she's touching her. For like five minutes. <laughs> Franz came in here one night and was like, Mo, I gotta show you the greatest porn I've ever seen. And he pulls it up. <laughs> and it's weird. Brazilian tranny shit and puke, like, drowning porn. It He's was, muffed up. He's it tweet. was yeah. four Brazilian yeah, trannies tweet. drowning white chicks in a pool, then taking them out and shitting and puking on them. And you that busted was me for being coffin, boy. Ever. He's worse. <laughs> I agree with that. I do agree with that. Brazilian tranny shit and puke porn. I'll yeah. never so be in a coffin, I'll tell you that. Novak walked in. I was sifting through porno and I saw this chick in a coffin and some dude's trying to bang her out and then he walks in and he's like, you're watching coffin po- you are sick. He forgot to mention it. I was like, no, I was fast f- I was trying to figure out what the best scene was of this porno. He, so forgot, he forgot to mention the poor girl had on a full leather suit with two holes in it. One in her mouth and one in her pussy. I don't even know if there was a woman in there, a child. She couldn't breathe. There was a hole in her mouth with the dick she in her mouth. She could breathe through the mouth. Yeah, there was a dick in her mouth. How's she breathing? <laughs> I mean, that's you're you, you're right on Franz's tail, man. She just breathes every other gulp. And then Franz is trying to like show him Richard. Pr- like he's like, oh, let me show you the best show ever. He's trying to show him Richard Pryor from back in the seventies, eighties, and fans like this is not funny. Like he's like, well, like, what is it? Like, oh no, it's the best. Show I guess when you grow up and think it's funny, then you automatically always think that it's fu- Oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh, his hair's shorter in the front. The Look front. at him. He's a crazy mess. And his, and his flannel shirt that he had on. and like those He boots. always has $2 flannel shirts on. Has he been filming anything? Yeah. Um, aside from the dick rub? Yeah, he just did a couple videos, I think he said. Yeah, like Cleveland, like, what do you want? For some reason, he's doing like rap videos right now. And reggae, right? I don't know, Novak. <laughs> Booty Girl Bonanza videos? <laughs> no, he, he, it's this old boxer dude who decided to rap now. He has like three teeth. But his hands and feet are his so His name is big. Vinny something. And and he's you like are. rapping in a basement like where Rocky used to work out. Like Dan, Die Ant Word? He's awesome. As a matter of fact, he's so he awesome. Play you should play I it. should play it. Can you get the, lap, the laptop? Cleveland, get the laptop. I Cleveland, can you get the laptop? <laughs> Do you feel cooler, Chad? Do you feel it? It was on 80. I'm always cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> you were hot a couple minutes ago. I'm cool and hot. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Every time I call Chad, I go, Chad, 
He answers, I'm like, yo, man, what are you up to? He's like, five nine, like always. <laughs> Shut up, you're simple. <laughs> hey, it's an easy joke. <laughs> what are you up to? Five nine. No, like, what are you doing? <laughs> no, don't ask me what I'm up to, man. I say it. <laughs> but that's what you said. Anyway. That's what people say. I said it at the Wawa today. Wawa Bell? <laughs> yeah, Wawa Bell. <laughs> Medicine wants to go to Wawa Bell. What are you up to? 5'9". Oh. All right, let me type time. this in. Not, well, it's probably charged. <clears throat> Hold on. Who's the other guy in this picture? I look 5'4 <clears throat> in any Who CKY is photo. Uh, all the guys in CKY, yeah. aside from Darren, are like this ultra one? tall. Yeah. <laughs> ultra. Really? It was good to have Dice in the band because he was short and like a little Boston Terrier. Who took Dice's psyche? Shit, what's right. going on? What? Who Is took this me? Yeah, that's you. Turn it off. I'm trying. Hold on. All right, I did. Who took uh, Dice? Matty J's playing bass in CKY. He was playing synth for CKY now. We have Murray on synth. Cool. CKY goes on tour... Uh, like in nine days, we go to the UK and play Sonosphere. And then you go to New Zealand. Then we go to New Zealand New for the Zealand. first time. Where's the CKY, the, uh, then Australia. Where's the Hellview show this year? Hellview show on October 31st at the Trocadero in Philadelphia. Hit the volume Hell button. Yeah, it's on there. mute. With Daryl? Daryl. Daryl Mills. <laughs> With Daryl Mills. <laughs> My name is fucking Darren. Da- well, Daryl. <laughs> Daryl Mills. It's Darren Miller. Daryl Mills. <laughs> she, what, just, he, he, you, you call him Daryl? I kept on calling him Daryl, not like on purpose, by accident. He's like, it's goddamn Darren. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Then I'll be like, Daryl, can I get your question? He's like, God damn it. It's fucking Darren you. Miller. All right, well, Daryl Mills. <laughs> <laughs> he will get pissed at yeah. <laughs> Well, everybody thinks his name is Darren, so he doesn't that, like that. That motherfucking Len Darren. 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 Darren? Darren. Darren? Darren. 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 It's not Darren. It's Darren. Darren? D E R O N. Darren. Oh, is it really? Darren. Okay. Not Darren. I'm calling him Darren. Oh, if you call him. (laughs) You call him (laughs) Daryl. That's so wrong. (laughs) Fucking Daryl Mills. Sorry, Darren. Daryl Mills. Darren. Sorry. Sorry. Darren. They make some good cereal. It's radio. Radio. Bam! Ryan this is Ryan Dunn, and you've tuned in to Radio Bam. I have no idea why they gave us this stupid show. Whoever hired us should have their job title reevaluated, because they are a fuck up. <laughs> you want to hear this? What is this? South African rap? It's this guy. Yeah, he's from With- South Africa, and and I actually watched it to like laugh, but I watch it twice a day, and then after I watch it twice a day for two weeks, I realize that I actually like it. <laughs> he's got progeria kids. Dude, he's awesome. Hey, are we going to play it while you talk? Or? Or let's just listen. Okay. South African culture. It kicks in this after place. a bit. It's really scary because they have that like, dude who's got that aging disease. Progeria. <clears throat> Not to mention he has all these Colors. like ghetto tattoos, jailbird tattoos. It says pretty wise on his neck. He looks like he's on meth for like two, maybe, no, like 20 years of meth. He's skinny as fuck. Face is rotten away. Rats running all over. But I like it. Then what do you call it? Progeria. That's what this kid has in the Dude, video. Dude, the Delaware whore is obsessed with progeria kids. <laughs> the Delaware whore. I love it. <laughs> and then he has this chick with the highest voice ever, and she has, like, no bangs whatsoever. She's, she's, oh, she yes, looks 10. Yeah. She's just she's yeah. disturbingly hot, though. Her voice sounds 10. Yeah, and now back to Radio Bam thing. Faction. <laughs> Die ant word. From South Africa, that was End of the Ninja. And I love him. This is the greatest song I ever heard. This is the coolest song I've ever heard in my whole life. It's your own song, dude. <laughs> Die Antwerp. Yeah, he's out of his mind. <laughs> it's on YouTube. The song's called Enter the Ninja. By Die Antwerp. Production said he was going to sample that. Ay, ay, ay. And now I gotta play you Double Rainbow. Oh, he loves it because it says production in mm-hmm. it so much. It's a good sample. Is is that the acid guy? Yes. Jesus. There's this dude, Double Rainbow. You know, he everybody sees, hears he sees the music a rainbow. On YouTube. <laughs> this is where everybody listens to the music. <laughs> double Rainbow guy. Here we go. What? <laughs> Here we go. You're playing this full? Oh, this is awesome. You just cut through you it. Talking over it, or you? We can talk over. It, yes. <laughs> So, double rainbow. There's a oh double God. rainbow. This dude. It's a double rainbow all the way. 
Whoa. He can't believe it, and he wants to know what it mean. <laughs> He's like, what does it mean? <laughs> All right, it's loading. Hold on. This guy should team up with the leprechaun dudes from Atlanta. Whoa, man. So loaded. Fuck. Well, wait. Look at that. You gotta call Verizon. I know. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Woo! It's a double full oh, rainbow. Oh, wow! <laughs> Woo! Five yeah. million views. Uh, five, million? five million? Yeah. Oh my, god. oh my god, look at that. It's starting to even look like a triple rainbow. Oh my god. That'd be the ass. Oh, double That's rainbow the all the cow. way across the sky. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What does it mean? Oh God. I want to like things this much. <laughs> Me too. I know. Take acid. <laughs> I have. I hate it. What does this mean? <laughs> oh. oh my God. <laughs> what does this oh. mean? This is how I imagine sitting oh. in the park with Chef God. Jeff. It's <laughs> so bright. Is this dick in his Oh hand? my God. It's so bright and vivid. <laughs> oh. It's almost like I know. Oh. <laughs> He's coming over a rainbow. It sounds like sex. She's so says. beautiful. So beautiful. What? Oh. Now I have. Remember the. <laughs> Is he crying? Yeah. Is he really crying? Big time. <laughs> over a rainbow. <laughs> 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 Sounds like Jess when the new Clutch album comes out. <laughs> Double complete rainbow. Double complete rainbow. Right in the yard. I gotta hear that again. <laughs> Right my front yard. <laughs> oh my god! Jesus Christ! Oh my god! What does it mean? What does it mean? He's on so much ass. <laughs> it's just a fucking rainbow. <laughs> Too much! That's not Too what it means. <laughs> oh my god. It's so good. Wait. It's so nice. Dude, what's the fucking <laughs> the the dude who's in the cloud <gasps> on acid? Oh, and the gecko. <laughs> yeah, the oh lizard god. the lizard acid dude. What's that under? I have no clue. It's not as funny without the video though. No, it's fucking funny, dude. <laughs> Wait, let me think. Dude, Acid. In the, in the meantime, how about Timmy and Miguel's fucking girlfriend? Oh, God. <laughs> so Miguel comes over the other day. This is his most terrible I story. I was there. <clears throat> and, and he comes over with uh, his some girlfriend. FDR's his girlfriend, girlfriend and, and also Tim White. Tim, yeah. Tim decides to get drunk and then bang her out twice upstairs. Dude. And then Miguel walks in on it. Catch them. Dude, Miguel walks Miguel's down crying as she's still getting bound, banged out for the second time. Miguel he gets done watching her get banged out by Tim And then White. she doesn't even feel bad, so she does it again. Dude, Miguel looked at her and went, I've never heard you moan like you just did with Tim. And then Tim <laughs> punched Miguel in the face and he at drove that them point, both home in the morning. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Now he's had Miguel's girlfriend at his house for two weeks. She's moving in. He had his black neighbor from upstairs. It's this big, giant, like, Old Spice commercial black guy.
came down, banged out Miguel's girlfriend so Timmy could watch. She, he did too. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. no, Timmy had yeah. his neighbor from upstairs come down and bang out Miguel's girlfriend that has now been at his house fucking and sucking him for a week. Had the dude bang her out, and then Timmy was pissed off because the guy's dick was smaller than his, and he only lasts two minutes. Then he calls me and says, Mohawk, you're still a minister, right? And I was like, yeah. He's like, okay, good, because I'm getting married, and I want you to be the minister. He's marrying this Who fucking skate the girl. Chick. Who would marry her? He's really married? He's got, yeah. yeah. He really is. I found it. He said because he wants to be a swinger, and she's all for it. <laughs> this dude is in the closet on acid, and he's at the beach, and this is what he's thinking about. He's definitely from Jersey. He's on at major acid. He's bonkers. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that has nine million views. Nine so, million? Nine million? No, back. You ever been that's that muffed? Liam Lynch. He's a director. Huh? You ever been that muffed? No. Yeah, right. You maybe were like that last maybe night. Maybe That's a different kind of muff. Yeah, that's a whole other level of muff. You were such a piece last night. I needed a translator just to talk to you. I wonder if Toots ever done it. Oh, probably. Mama Toot. Your mom has definitely done that. Has she ate acid before? Only with the you pizza You have to boy. meet my mom, god damn it. I know. I you told to. me I could take your mom on a date. But Novak's really got to meet my mom. But you also told me I could take no, Jazzy on a date. Well, she, when she's 18. Oh, well, yeah. She's not 18 yet, but well, she does adore you. I'm waiting. Wow. Oh <laughs> Everyone, stop talking about my daughter. It's better she me. She's a hottie It's toddy, better than me than one of these pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? She's going in the closet until she's 30. Why? You want to be a lesbian? <laughs> no, but I don't want boys well, trying it, to. Well, if you put her, her in the closet, she's got to come out. That's what boys try to do. I know, but I don't let the boys try to do that. Well, that's that's life. That so, sooner or later, it's going to happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it already did happen. It did it. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. It does. Yeah. I guarantee it. She admitted. It. Bam. She ad well, Bam. I know for a fact. Well, yeah. Bam decided to have it. a talk with her one She's night, and then the next it. day, Bam's like, oh, yeah, by the way, I, I found out that Jazz and having sex. And she I was is. like, what? Like, she admitted it. <laughs> yeah, because she told me and Colin told Novak, me. Novak, I know. So it's true. Bam and Novak, like, hounded her. Why would they lie? They, they both told us. And you're in loser mom denial. You didn't even have to hound her. You guys are just like, Jazz, like, come on. You know you're having sex. You didn't see what went on when the tree was getting chopped down. What was going on? <laughs> Colin wasn't even there. She was with her friend Lindsay. She was with her girlfriend Lindsay. Yeah. I think Sam likes Jazzy. 
Who's Sam? Skate boy from Indiana, Indiana kid? Jeez. Well, he's from Indiana. What Indiana the fuck is he going to do? He loves jazz. Fuck her through the phone? Well, what is the difference between a girl and a fucking <laughs> cow <laughs> and a phone field? Date. So, baby, kiss me through Babe, the phone. Kiss me through safe. the phone. I'll see you later on. He kiss doesn't me do through her, the phone. Though. Phone date. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's that's what it should be because she's only seventeen. That almost. Kid, that kid drove to Wawa seven times just because your daughter wanted the hoagie. I know uh, he is really? into Jaslyn. Whatever Jaslyn wanted, she got that day. Really? And poor Colin was there. Oh, he had to deal with this and, Indiana boy. And then I, and Indiana, you were asleep for and, all of it. And Sam was like, um, like they were just in the pool playing and hanging out. And I was like, and Colin had to sit there and watch. Colin this sat there and watched. Oh. I know. I'd be pissed. Well, how far did it go? No, they were just like playing in the pool, like laughing. Dude, I watched, I watched uh, Twilight, well, Eclipse, the new one. Fact. It should all that this should be called is is uh, it's just her dick teasing two boys <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> I do I like it. Taylor? Do I like Edward Cullen? Do I like Taylor? Do I like Edward Cullen? That's I all heard, it is. It's I like heard. the whole movie is just her figuring out who she wants to French. I heard they Twilight, said that movie Twilight had the best sex teased. scene. Did you ever see this one? <laughs> There's another one coming out already. I don't know why I was that watching this so much shit. money. Did Freaking you see Twilight? Dude, I'm waiting yeah. to see Hermione in like the it? new oh, Harry Potter. Right. Yeah. This is on YouTube. It's this old Indian man who... Did you ever see this? Jeff, what happens? It's really... The guy dies right in the middle of his interview here. No way. No way. While he's talking. You gotta see this. That's some Joe Franz shit. He's smiling. I don't know why I was watching it, but... Why did he die? Just watch. Out of nowhere. After he drinks this water. No way. It's on YouTube. No way. Scary. Not now, not never. Are you serious? <laughs> no way. No way. It's coming up. <laughs> he's still smiling. He's smiling. Looks like the so he's doing an interview. It looks like he's in the courtroom. <gasps> oh, Stop oh my it. God. No. No. <laughs> now oh his God. eyes are in the back of his head. Jesus. Uh, he's dead. No. He died. Yeah. He just dies right there in an interview. Well, he already looked like his a eyes keeper. rolled to the back of his head. Did he find out why he died, Chad? Uh, it could be a cardiac arrest, but everybody thinks he was poisoned because he drinks this water yeah. right before. Well, that's, that was but no poison acts that. Quick, yeah, it man. doesn't act that quick. It's this old Indian man. It's called shocking video death on camera on YouTube. And uh, it's so disturbing. No one's talking. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my oh. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> no way. Dude, that was I'm the quietest over. I ever heard the room. <laughs> yeah. Not now, not never. Very disturbing. Never. I just watched the Crib Keeper die. <laughs> he is scary. How old is he? I don't know, but he looks kind of like that dude. Old before. enough to die. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, and then I clicked all these fucking awful suicide fucking videos, and then I was depressed for the fucking rest of the day. And I, had, I, had to watch, I had to watch fucking a series of Shirley, Te- Shirley Temple videos to cheer up. Somebody sent me a whole bunch of links to Shirley Temple songs. Do you know who Shirley Temple is? Yeah, that little redhead yeah. bitch. Oh, wait a minute, Mohawk. Tell them about the, how we know that we're old now, because Lindsay had on those rainbow sneakers. Dude, her daughter's friend had on rainbow sneakers, and I looked at her and said, holy rainbow bright shoes, and not a single person around got it, and I wanted to shoot myself. We're old. Who doesn't know who rainbow bright is? Well, you're older than all of us, but I didn't say that. I am. Uh Damn it. I take that back. Well, I mean, we're the same age. I mean, it's true. You're probably a month older than me. (gasps) When's your birthday? April 24th. Oh, shit. I'm a lot more than one month. Really? I'm in October. Ah. God damn it, Chad. Hmm. You know what? About time to play old maid. <laughs> old maid. And you, the little youngin over here, this one's 30. I'm only yeah. 28. You got it. You're only 28. Yeah. Breaking the chains. You suck. <laughs> crash diet. Uh, breaking the chains is also a diet. I'm kind of on a crash diet right now. You better not be. We ate a pizza. I'm on a crash diet, I'm except f- for the pizza. That's oh. pretty good I pizza. feed his ass all the time. Don't even listen to him. Well, Feed his face. That's where he's oh, from. Shit, I got charcoal going for Bubba Burger. All right, here we go. Breaking the chains. Crash diet on Radio Bam. Are we done? From Sweden. Yeah, we're done. Now, say goodbye. Later. Radio Bam. That's Radio Bam for this week. We're done. done. Tune in next week for more. Everybody. You can leave now. It's Radio Bam. Radio Bam every Monday.
Radio Bam every Monday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Email me now at Radio Bam. Why don't you uh, take a picture of your sweet white ass and send it on over to Radio Bam at Sirius-Radio.com. Call Radio Bam at 877-PORNBAG. That's 877-PORNBAG. Sweet dreams, Peapod. Bye, everybody. See you next week. Fact Show.